Hello thinkers, welcome to another video. If this is your first video on this channel, welcome here. This is a growing community of thinkers where we learn together one video at a time. Please consider subscribing. For my existing viewers, I will continue to thank you for always coming back to this channel. If you have been following on my projects on this channel, you will remember I've been working on DIY CNC laser engraver for some weeks now where I turned a Z axis to a full machine. If you have not seen that video, the links are in the description. In this video, I will be installing the limit switches and then calibrate the machine for accuracy using the Universal G code sender UGS. The links for all the items are in the description below. Like I read in the comment section of the previous videos, I was asked to mention the sizes of the machine. The y-axis is 600mm, which was originally a z-axis and the x-axis is 500mm. I used the 20 by 20 extrusion for that. So I've installed the let me switch to all the four points to pass through this level. So I put the limit switch here. So this will be the zero, the x-axis zero and maximum, then maximum for y-axis is zero. So I want to loop the wire. Now the control board is going to be around here, and because this limit switch will be you know why in such a way that it won't be interfering with the work so i've decided to loop it with this wire for the minimum and that's what i'm trying to do now uh, this the wire management is going to look somehow with this uh, design, this style of uh, style of CNC, you know. So, but I'll see, see what to do. In preparation for the calibration, I needed to set a pointer on the gantry, and in this case, I'm using a tester to perform this operation. Yeah, uh, I've been able to set the pointer right, and um, it's 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 tight now. I'm having about four points, four points to tighten it down. See what I mean? This is in preparation for the calibration. This will help me to get the accurate um, measurement. For the calibration so that we can set the, the step per millimeter how many steps would the uh, stepper motor travel or take for one millimeter of movement so we'll do for x-axis first then we'll do for y-axis and uh, everything will be accurate so uh, let's get to do that now that we are set with the with this
this is 148.2 and uh, we have just moved three millimeter so we we'll put the actual movement here which is one four eight point two mm so the actual should be 5.3 steps per millimeter so update so let's give it a try again Reaching really seven point nine millimeter out of the screen is eight point zero seven centimeter. So actual movement is a seven point nine. So I think as far as the GBRL is concerned, it's saying the five point three step is correct. So let's do for y axis now. Let's do for y axis. We moved five millimeter towards zero was well, giving us fifty one point nine millimeter. So let's calibrate this and see what we get fifty one point eight. So it's saying this one should be twenty five point five. Let's update that. Update it. So that makes 31.5 steps per millimeter. So let's end this. We we'll just say return to the test if the calibration is now working okay so let's try and push it set to zero zero now we begin the movement now again Seven point five. We have moved eight mm, but we are having seven point five mm. So let's recalibrate that and see what we we'll get. get. The first step is always correct. Second step. 
Dos de Wow, 10.1. Right, it's been quite difficult to achieve homey with this setup, with this version 4. I'm still going to search to see what I'm doing wrong. And if you have any suggestion, please let me know. Thanks to Avi Bab who called my attention to the resonance issue of my full step mode. So I'm going, he has made some references, some recommendations to me on on this full step mode that I'm using, that it will be better if I use one over four or one over eight. That will, you know, give the motor some rest, and it will be able to, um, it will be able to run smoothly, as well as you know, avoid step missing and all of that. So, which are I find quite interesting, and I want to say a big thank you to Avibab. I mean, he has a vast experience on CNC and all of that, and this is my own first. Uh, DIY CNC so I appreciate that help in the next video coming up I'll I'll be working on the one of our first step I've seen the reference he made and um, that's what I'll be doing to make sure this um, this stuff works and if you have any suggestion for me on the homie why my homie is not working as you have seen in the video please um, help me in the comment section below I appreciate all of you thanks for watching me Thank you very much.